Here we are live for Makeup Monday number two, and my beautiful daughter is here to help me today. So we're gonna talk about contouring, and first I'm gonna show you what I'm putting on as my foundation. This is the R9 Advanced Prep Work line. Now I'm gonna have some too. Soft Focus Veil, and it has an SPF of 30 with mineral, based sunscreen so none of that benzene that people have been worrying about recently right baby sorry rub it in okay <laughs> so we're just gonna put this on this is my favorite thing for everyday wear ah. as a foundation instead of one of our actual foundations because I have a history of having had really oily skin. And for that reason, I really feel my face is shiny. Liquid foundations on my face. They kind of bother me. And this one is so light that once it's on, even out in the sun, it doesn't bother me. So if I'm just doing a regular day, if we're going, you know, to the soccer field for Morgan or whatever, then so for me, hockey. it is a lot easier to get my sun protection without the heaviness of a foundation. And as you'll see, it's made her skin look a tiny bit lighter, but if we give it about five, ten minutes, it will sort of adjust itself just like our CC cream does to her skin and she won't look funny and paler than before. So yeah. what I'm here to show you today is contouring, which is, as you can see, my, my facial features are kind of flat, especially on the sides. You don't really see the cheekbones. It's not super easy to see the jawline. And so I'm going to use the Starlight Glow Palette, yeah, I which is four different shades yeah. with some bronzers and I want this a one. sort of brownish blush. What I do is I mix the gold and this, whoopsie, running off screen, the gold over here and this medium brown for myself. And I will even use the gold looking one as an eyeshadow if I'm in a hurry and I just want to use one little quick palette for everything. So swirl it a little bit on the gold, a little bit on the brown, and then you make just a three. So we've got the beginning of the three here, and then it comes down across your jawline for the bottom of the three. And it really is that simple. To get yourself, and of course you want to blend, blend, blend. You don't want like the one. obvious three where everyone can see. Well, look, she used the three technique. It is really bizarre. I'm gonna look in this little mirror here because it is really bizarre to try to do my makeup on camera when everything shows up backwards from the motion I'm actually doing. And after that, I went this one. Then I take this slightly pinker one up in the right-hand corner and do my cheeks. Apples of my cheeks as the blush. That way all the colors go together. They were meant to go together. You can use your hand a little bit. I got a bit much right there. But you can see it, it just accents the divot below your cheekbones and makes it a little bit more visible. So you have that lovely contour effect. Now for Morgan, yeah, if you have a darker skin tone, I this one and this one like you. All right, I will use Ooh. some of the darker one. Of course, her cheekbones are gorgeous, even without makeup, but she likes to 
slide this way a little bit, love. She likes to play with makeup too. So you should buy me a makeup table. I should. A toy makeup table. Mm -hmm. Now I can do my nails and my face and earrings. And you live on our table. Look at me. And there you go. Two gorgeous ladies. Clearly different skin this? tones. I used that on you. From the same beautiful Starlight Glow palette that is available from Arbon. And let me see if I can get the light a little closer so you can see how I've just done. Now, of course, you're going to go through, you're going to do your finishing powder, you're going to do your eyes, you're going to finish it up. But those are videos for another day. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tip. Yeah. And Have the light button. Yes, hit the like button and enjoy your day. Bye. I said hit the like button before you.